Hello students, this is Perio Chapter 9, Lecture 1. The host response to periodontal pathogens. The presence of periodontal pathogens alone is insufficient to cause the tissue destruction seen in periodontitis. It is the body's response to the periodontal path pathogens that is the cause of nearly all the destruction seen in periodontitis. The way that the body responds to periodontal pathogens is known as the host response. As you recall, the prime purpose of the human immune system is to defend the life of the individual, the host. In the instance of periodontal disease, the immune system strives to defend the body against periodontal pathogens. The body's defenses are employed to save the life of the host, not to preserve the tooth or its supporting periodontal tissues. Biochemical mediators are biologically active compounds secreted by the immune cells that activate the body's inflammatory response. The mediators are the middlemen sent by the immune cells to activate the inflammatory response. Inflammatory mediators of importance in periodontal disease are cytokines, prostaglandins, and matrix metalloproteinases, or MMPs. Cytokines signal the immune system to send more phagocytes to the site of infection. They are produced by many different cells, PMNs, macrophages, B lymphocytes, epithelial cells, gingival fibroblasts and osteoblasts, and they are produced in response to tissue injury. Cytokines important in periodontal disease include IL-1, IL-6, IL-8, and TNF-alpha. Cytokines recruit cells to the infection site. They increase vascular permeability, which increases movement of the immune cells into the tissues. They can initiate tissue destruction and bone loss in chronic infections, such as periodontal disease. Prostaglandins are powerful inflammatory mediators. The series of prostaglandins are D, E, F, G, H, and I. Most cells can produce prostaglandins. Prostaglandins increase the permeability and dilation of blood vessels to promote increased movement of immune cells and complement to the infection site. They trigger osteoclasts, which are the bone destroying or consuming cells, to destroy the alveolar bone. Prostaglandins also promote the overproduction of destructive MMP enzymes. Prostaglandins of the E series, PGE, initiate most of the alveolar bone destruction in periodontitis. Matrix metalloproteinases, or MMPs, have a family of at least 12 different enzymes and are produced by various cells of the body such as PMNs, macrophages, fibroblasts, and junctional epithelium cells. Enzymes act together to break down connective tissue matrix. In health, MMPs facilitate normal turnover of the periodontal connective tissue matrix. MMPs are released in an attempt to kill invading bacteria during a chronic bacterial infection. Overproduction of MMPs results in breakdown of connective tissue of the periodontium. High MMP levels result in extensive collagen destruction in the periodontal tissues. Without collagen, the tissues of the gingiva, periodontal ligament, and supporting alveolar bone degrade. This results in gingival recession, pocket formation, and tooth mobility. A recap of the host response. Cytokines recruit PMNs and macrophages, prostaglandins increase vascular permeability, and MMPs facilitate normal turnover of the connective tissue matrix. 
Cytokines initiate tissue destruction and bone loss. PGE results in alveolar bone destruction and MMPs result in collagen destruction. The presence of periodontal pathogens does not necessarily mean that an individual will experience periodontitis. The intensity of the immune response to periodontal pathogens varies considerably from one individual to another. Local immune response can vary in intensity from site to site within the same patient's mouth. Some people with abundant bacterial plaque exhibit only mild disease. Others with light bacterial plaque suffer severe disease. Untreated gingivitis does not always lead to periodontitis. Underline this three times, please. Everyone infected with pathogens will not get periodontal disease. The host response is the key. In periodontal disease, the body's immune system causes tissue destruction in an attempt to stop bacterial infection. Complex interactions between periodontal pathogens and the host response determine the onset and severity of periodontal disease. As you know, bacteria colonize the tooth near the gingival margin and initiate the host response. PMNs pass from the bloodstream into the gingival connective tissue. The PMNs release cytokines that destroy gingival connective tissue, allowing the PMNs to move quickly through the tissue. PMNs then migrate into the sulcus and phagocytize, phagocytize bacteria. Bacteria then penetrate into the connective tissue. More PMNs are attracted to the site. They release more cytokines, causing more localized destruction of the connective tissue. Macrophages are recruited to the connective tissues. They release cytokines, PGE2, and MMPs. Plaque biofilm then extends subgingivally and disrupts the attachment of the coronal most portion of the junctional epithelium. Macrophages and lymphocytes are most numerous in the connective tissue. PMNs continue to fight bacteria in the sulcus. Host cells produce more toxic chemicals, cytokines, PGE2, and MMPs. The plaque biofilm grows along the root surface. The immune response becomes chronic. Intense inflammation begins to harm the periodontium. Cytokines destroy the connective tissue and PDL fibers. Cytokines, PGE2, and MMPs destroy the connective tissue and bone. PGE2 initiates bone destruction. Macrophages produce cytokines, PGE2, and MMPs. These mediators stimulate fibroblasts to secrete PGE2 and MMP. Mediators from the macrophages and fibroblasts result in destruction of the connective tissue. PGE2 stimulates osteoclasts to resorb the crest of the alveolar bone. A recap of pathogenesis. Periodontal disease is a bacterial infection of the periodontium. The presence of bacteria, however, does not necessarily mean that an individual will experience periodontitis. The body responds to periodontal pathogens by mobilizing defensive cells and releasing chemicals to combat the bacteria. This body defense mechanism is referred to as the host defense or host response. The microscopic changes in the periodontium have four distinct phases. Early bacterial accumulation, early gingivitis, established gingivitis, and periodontitis. For the periodontium to remain healthy, the bacterial infection must be controlled so as not to trigger a chronic, exaggerated host immune response. The body's immune response to the bacteria causes most of the tissue destruction in the periodontal tissues.
This concludes Chapter 9, Lecture 1.